Hey Merge, thanks for joining for the So and So Show. It's a brand new month, so we have a brand new Bible verse, which is every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. James 1, 17a. So get that memorized in your mind and in your heart. And then we hope to have you join us on Wednesday nights from 6.30 to 8. All right, see you guys later. What are you doing, John? Oh, packing peanuts. That's right. Oh, hello, everybody. I'm John. I'm Brandon, and welcome to the So and So Show. Brandon, have you ever thought about the fact that back in the day, people didn't have mailboxes? Uh, no, I guess I haven't.
Can you I'm imagine out. having to go to the post office to pick up your mail? Honestly, I only get emails nowadays. Yeah, see, 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 even further development. And to think people used to have to get their mail delivered by ponies. What? Yeah, the Pony Express. Oh, well, okay. Oh, the ponies. and even more the... unbelievable, snails. John. Snail mail? Oh. Snail mail. Yeah. Like little snails, snails carry your mail around on their shelves <laughs> and they slowly climb up your mailbox. John. Mailboxes must have been just disgusting, covered in all that slime. That is not at all what snail mail means. Oh, okay. Well, I, I would have you explain it to me right now, but I'm gonna have to wait on the edge of my seat for that lesson. <laughs> <laughs> because we got someone who knows stuff. Ooh. That's hello, a pigeon. Oh, hey, hello. Come on in. Have a seat, please. Have a seat. Have a seat. Wow, I, I love your outfit. Yeah. Oh, well, pigeons are some of God's most beautiful creatures. Oh, yeah? Well, I usually think of uh, elk or butterflies as beautiful. Oh, it's quite the range. But yeah, I guess pigeons can be classified as that. Well, I'd say so. Yeah, so tell us who you are and what you do. Well, my name is Paige, and I know all about carrier pigeons. Pigeons that are used to deliver messages. Really? Oh. Yep. I even deliver messages in a tiny bottle attached to my leg. Now that's cool. You have a message in there right now? Um, well, is there somebody here named Brandon? Uh, uh yes. Oh, for me. Okay, here we go. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Brandon, your shoe's untied. John. Well, oh. <laughs> Thank you. I did not think that would actually work. <laughs> what are you doing? I just felt left out. Huh. Anyway, do you deliver other notes to people? Yep. I fly across land and sea. The messages have to be really short, though, because long ones, they won't fit in the bottle. Wait, wait, you fly? I mean, on a plane. Oh. I wish I could fly like a bird. Oh, uh, don't we all? But sometimes I pretend to fly upon my deliveries. It adds to the whole presentation and experience, you know? <laughs> okay, what does that look like? Well, I'm glad you are. Oh, really? It's really all in the flow of the head and the arm movement. Do you guys want to give it a try? Y yes. Sure. <laughs> Right, Come on, get into it. All right. So, uh, how much does it cost to do your delivery service? Oh, it's free, just like the carrier pigeons. What's a bird gonna do with money? <laughs> yeah, but you're not really a bird. That's oh, oh. oh. oh careful, partner. <laughs> you don't want to break a wing. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah, it's great. Paige, tell us what's your favorite thing about deliveries. Oh, it's the most fun thing in the world. Messages between friends spread joy and love. I help keep the world connected. Also, on a very rare and special occasion, I deliver packages. Oh, wow, do you deliver those tied to your leg too? Well, if it's small enough, yeah. But if it's too heavy, I carry it on my arms or my back. I learned that lesson the hard way. Okay. One time I got stranded in a cornfield with a package of pickled okra. My legs started cramping so bad I fell over. I had to eat the okra to lessen the weight. But then I started feeling nauseous. So I started eating corn to settle my stomach, which only made things worse. I ended up sleeping in the cornfield till the crows woke me up. You must tell that story all the time. Oh, not really, no. Carrier pigeons aren't about entertaining people with their adventures. They're about serving others through faithful deliveries. So I try and do the same. Oh, you really put love and generosity into action, giving mm. your time and energy to help others. Yeah, yeah, but some people just t talk about doing stuff for others, but you're actually doing it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, uh, before you go, can you uh, please teach us how to make that impeccable pigeon call that you did earlier? Oh, this? Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. Um. Hey! Hey! You! You! I have a package for you to deliver. Well, <clears throat> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Howdy, fellas! Howdy to you. How's it going today? Great, uh, learning all about carrier pigeons and generosity. That is an interesting combination, but I like it. 
Today, we're going to be learning more about generosity and about putting love into action. It's important because it's really easy to say, I love you, but what does it actually look like to love someone? The Apostle John wrote a letter that I think will help us discover just that. Hey! Hey! Did somebody say combination? Like two whole minutes ago, but but yeah. Oh, I am Horvath, an expert can combine, can do things together. I combine the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger. Well, hey Horvath, it's so good to see you. Likewise. <laughs> What are we learning today, Callens? Well, only the best thing ever, how to love. Wow. Mm -hmm. John's first letter teaches us how to love others like Jesus did. Now, we're not going to read the entire letter today, but let's check out a couple of verses. I'll read the verses, and then Horvath will do the exercises to help us remember. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. 1 John 3, 16 through 18. It starts out like this. We know what love is because Jesus Christ gave his life for us. So we should give our lives for our brothers and sisters. Whoa. 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 Exactly. <laughs> that sounds really hard. But I don't think John meant that we actually have to die in order to love people like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Giving our lives for our brothers and sisters simply means being generous. Yeah, putting others first, like sharing our time, talents, or things that we own with other people. All right, first exercise. I call this love life lunge. <laughs> Not to be confused with live, laugh, love. Huh? It's a saying. All right, here's what you do. First, you put your hands on your heart, and then we lunge forward. Deep lunge now, Callens. And then you give it away. Okay. <laughs> we do this 300 times. That's too many times. All right, here we go. Ready? One. Ooh. Two. Ooh. Ooh. Elephant trunk. Uh, diaper ice cream. Uh, uh, 300. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. What's next? What's next? Oh, What's okay. Next? John went on to write, suppose someone sees a brother or sister in need and is able to help them. And suppose that person doesn't take pity on these needy people. What? <laughs> Mm-hmm. How could they do such things? If you have God's love inside of you, you must let it out on everybody. You nailed it on the head, Horvath. I have no nails or no hammers. <laughs> no, no, I meant what you said was exactly what John was writing. Oh. He wrote that if someone didn't take pity on a person or people in need, then... How can the love of God be in that person? Oh, second exercise, pity knees. You know I'm talking about need, need, not knees, right? Lift your knees high in the air and then hug them tight and then give them a kiss if you want to. Uh, like, uh, uh, Aha! We do this 750 times! Yeah, let's go! One! 18! 18. Bigfoot! Bigfoot! 97! Okay. Personal pan pizza! Pizza? 750! <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, like I was saying, if someone is in need, we should take pity on them. John wrote next, Dear children, don't just talk about love. Put your love into action. Then it will truly be love. Now, remember what we talked about earlier? Huh? It's easy to talk about love or to just say, I love you. Huh? But it really changes people's lives when we do something. Ah. Like helping them when they're in trouble or encouraging them when they feel down. That's truly love. Wow! <laughs> oh, so beautiful. <laughs>
than exercise, okay? Not just talking, but put your love into action. Huh? Okay. Not just talking, but put your love into action. Okay, we do this 87 times. Go. One, not just talking, put your love into action. 12, not just talking, put your love into action. Jazzercise, not just talking, put your love into action. Cast iron pan, <laughs> not just talking, put your love into action. Fruit by the foot, <laughs> not just talking, put your love into action. 87, not just talking, put your love into action. Wow. Ah. Uh, uh. That was uh, wow. I know. <laughs> What's next, Kellens? What's next? Well, that's it. Huh? Simple but powerful. Put your love into action. Give your life for people the way Jesus gave his life for you. <sighs> Jesus gave his life for me. So now I can put my love into actions by giving my life away and helping people with knees. Needs. Needs. But yes, you got it. Uh, yes, I gotta go now. I know so many people with needs. Thanks, Horvath. Oh, you're very welcome, Kevin. You have needs. That is a seriously great teaching. Yeah. You know, it's, it's kind of sad how easy it is to fall into just talking about love rather than actually doing things for people. Absolutely. And thank goodness Jesus actually chose to give his life loving the people around him and dying to save us. That's beautiful. Thanks, Kellen. Anytime. Bye. See ya. Wow. Jesus really showed us how to give. Yeah, he's the, he's the most generous person ever. He's mm -hmm. the perfect example for us. Yeah. You know, it makes me want to think about the people in my life who have followed his example. Oh, me too. So, reveal the question. Oh, when has someone been generous to you? Yeah, yeah, obviously Jesus was super generous to all of us. But I know there are also people in your life who have been generous specifically just to you. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe one of your parents has been generous with their time, like when they drive you to soccer practice, or a, a teacher has been generous with their knowledge. Yeah, or maybe a friend shared something with you that was special to them, like a, a favorite book or a sweater. Yeah, there are so many ways we can love one another through our actions and by choosing to be generous. Yeah. Hey, think it over, talk it out, and we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. I'm John. And this was The So-and-So Show. Woo! You know what? The last time you were generous to me... When? Um, uh, just now. What, what did I do? I don't well, know. you were gonna go play with the chicken, but and you but decided I to decided. give me your attention. Oh, And that's, that's great. great. Okay, yeah. great. No, 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 no. No? The, no, no, the chicken says quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. You don't know birds at all. Actually, what you want to do is you want to kind of get the coo sound going, not so much yelling. Listen to the noise. Oh. 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 Oh.